Now let's talk about organizing your store. When you walk into a department store, you'll notice that a great deal of effort has been spent on organizing the store into an easy to understand system of departments. The store has been designed to help guide customers through the store and make finding what they're looking for easy and quick. Your online store should be no different. How successful would a retailer be if they simply piled all their wares on one big long table? And to find what you need, you would have to start at one end and just rummage your way through. True, some customers would persist and do this anyway, but most would leave for a more comfortable setting. Sad to say, a lot of online stores are pretty much like this. So it's important to think about information architecture. And what are your departments and aisles in your store? How you categorize your online store is the virtual equivalent to a bricks and mortar store separating its products into departments and aisles. It's essential to take some time to think this through. First, we will address your departments. That is, what your categories are. Then we'll look at the aisles, which would be your secondary or subcategories. To get an idea of what we're talking about, let's look at a rough floor plan. So here we have a floor plan of, let's say, a department store. In a physical store, the product is organized into departments and aisles or sections. Online, this would be your categories or secondary categories. Notice that categories are unique, but secondary categories can be used in more than one department. Arranging your products this way will give you the greatest amount of flexibility and freedom. But take a minute to think about your products in your store and organize them mentally like this. That'll translate very well when we begin creating categories and subcategories for our store. Now let's take what we've learned to the admin. So here we are back in the admin, and let's go down to the Categories tab. And first of all, let's go ahead and click Main Categories. These are the categories that we've already entered into the store. Again, these would be considered our departments. Right now we have collectibles, electronics, housewares, lawn and garden. So think of it that way. If you were to walk into a department store and walk around what the various departments are, divide your store online up into the same departments. Again, we have the pencil, so we can click. And you see, instead of being taken to the other page, it just pops up and you can change the description, the order in which it appears. And again, like everywhere else in the database, there's archive and delete. Notice that the delete field here is available. That means that there's no products associated with this particular category, so it can be deleted if we want to. Next, we go Add New Main. Again, we can add a new main category by entering the name and the description here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just type in gibberish. Okay, and then we just save this new main category. And there we go. It saves it and then allows you to do another one if you want. Let's go ahead and go back and look at the main categories. And there it is. Since there's nothing against this and we want to keep our database clean, let's go ahead and delete that. And it's gone. Another thing when we look at the categories, we can see View Archived. Again, it's the same thing. We can archive a category that we don't use anymore but it has products and other things associated with it. Let's look at secondary categories. These basically, again, would be the sub-departments or the aisles in your departments. And here we have cameras and photography, desktop computers. We'd see those, obviously, would be associated with electronics that we had in categories. And we can see all the various selections we have here. Again, we can edit the description just by clicking on the pencil. And we can change the sort order that they'll appear in our front end. And we can archive it or delete it if there's nothing associated with it. And then we can add new secondary categories. And the procedure here is the same as adding categories. Once these are all added, when we begin to add products, these categories and secondary categories will be available. In fact, let's show you that. When we look at the products, here they are right here, main categories and secondary categories. And you'll be able to check and associate that product with the various different categories. And that's an overview of how the categories and secondary categories works in our store and how to add, update, and manage them. Now that we've built the framework of our store by creating the department,